In this video, I'm going to show um, a way those of us who aren't yet programmers how we can still automate some of the configuration processes for Cisco devices. Um, it's just a matter of cutting and pasting configuration files into the various devices. So I'll show you how this works in Packet Tracer, which is over here on the left using an 1841 router. And then over on the right, I'll see what it, show you how it looks using a real 18, Cisco 1841 router um, that I have in my home lab. So we'll first start. Um, the first thing that you do is you just open up a text editor like Notepad and you type in the commands that you want. I've got four simple steps that I wanted to take. Um, the first thing is I wanted to enter into uh, privilege exec mode and then I wanted to issue the command configure terminal so it'll enter the global configuration mode and then I want to enter a new message of the day banner and that's this information in here we'll see and then also um, enabling if you are enabling the uh, device to be a DNS client you would want to one of the things you would do is enter the name server for the DNS server um, the IP address for the DNS server sorry so this is super simple and you wouldn't necessarily even do this but you could create a very long configuration file um, that you could keep templates and then cut and paste into into devices as the as you add them to your network or update your network um, so again this is really simple but you can get really complex with this so let's see how it works and the first thing you'll do is in uh, packet tracer we'll open that up we'll open up the command line uh, no, we don't want to go into there, and we are ready to go. So all you do is copy, and then click uh, at your prompt, right-click for paste. So again, we should paste, and it jump, should jump to privilege exec mode, then global configuration mode. It'll enter a new uh, banner message of the day, um, and then add the uh, DNS server information. So let's paste and see what happens. Okay, there it went. So you see it pasted the enable. And again, you just paste it all at once and, and the router, the device sees how it's supposed to display it because at each line, it'll enter it in. So it, enabled the, it entered the enable command, which took us uh, to the, global, to the uh, privilege exec mode. And then it entered the configure terminal command, which took us into the global configuration mode. It then entered the banner message of the day with the text that we wanted to use. And then finally, it entered the IP name server for the DNS server. And this last line, you'll actually have to hit enter. And now what we can do is a do show uh, run for do show running configuration. So we can see that these are in place. So the two things that we're going to look for are the message of the day um, and the 10.10.10.10.10.10 um, .10 .10 .10 name server. So let's hit the space bar. And there we go, there's the name server, 10.10.10.10. Let's hit the spacebar again, and then here you'll see the banner message of the day. And that's, it's as simple as that. And again, this is a really basic four line configuration file, but you can get as complex as you want. Um, now that we've looked at it in Packet Tracer, let's see how it works on an actual uh, Cisco 1841 router. So let's, uh, Go over here, and then again, we're going to copy. And then as soon as I right mouse click uh, in, the, in the window for the router, it, it'll take place. And there it goes. So again, uh, it entered the enable command to get us into privilege exec mode. It entered the configure terminal command to get us into global configuration mode. It entered the message of the day banner that we wanted to add. And it also um, input the... Uh, name server information for the DNS server that we're going to use. So again, at the end, you hit enter and then do show run to um, show us the running configuration. Let's hit enter and we'll look for our two bits of information that we input, which is the message of the day and this 10.10.10.10. And so let's hit the space bar Get back over here, space bar. And I have to go down a bit. Here's our message of the day. This is the message of the day. And then, um, oop, I must have gone past it. Do show run. And let's look for, uh, there it is. 
there's our IP name server command 10.10.10.10. So it works both on both in packet tracer and in real Cisco devices. And what I was reading about was how it's a good idea to have configuration templates for your devices. So um, you know, you have a configuration, a base configuration template for your switches. When you bring in a new switch, you would just cut and paste this configuration and then you would go in and change the necessary items like, you know, the VLAN one address, the IP address for that, or on a router, you would change the um, IP addresses for the interfaces, etc. You just do slight modifications, but this can save you a lot of work. Anyway, hope that helps and I'll see you in the next video.